All right, so uh, me and my brother are down here in the woods and uh, we're looking for snakes today. Uh, it's been thunderstorming, but it kind of let up, it might pick back up tonight. And uh, in this break, we're gonna flip some junk and see what we can find. We already got the first snake of the day right here, which is a ringneck snake. I'll give you a close up of it in one second. Here we go. Nice looking southern ringneck snake kind of integrated thing. There's weird taxonomy going on with these guys. But, hold on. Nice stomach on this thing. All right, cool. So first snake of the night, I'm gonna let this thing go back under its board and we're gonna keep looking. Oh, buddy. Cool. Dude, there's yellow jackets in our car, <laughs> and they're all outside the outside of the car. They just killed oh. one. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. God. Yeah, just kill that one. Ow. Ah. They're in my pants, bro. Really, ah. Actually. Yeah. What do we do? Is that one over there? I don't know. We gotta get out of here, dude. My legs are all stung. I haven't got stung yet. And I killed one guy. I'm just eating stings. Wait, they're literally... Ow! I'm getting stung down here. Don't f***ing crash. Jesus Christ. Ow. Dude, I don't know what to do. Here, here, here. Chill, 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 chill. Here. Is it in your pants? Oh my god! Definitely fell at least one. This is like the worst thing that's ever happened. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, there's still some alive in here. I know. Is that one back there? Uh, let's just get in this. I've gotten stung at least like. Bro, that, there were like five in here when we first closed the door and they just didn't do it. There it is. <laughs> this is not funny! <laughs> what the f do we do? There's yellow jackets in the goddamn car, in my pants, <laughs> and they're like, they were swarming oh, watch, watch out. the outside. I know this road. <laughs> <laughs> what do I, what do we even do to get the one that's in here out of here? It's like, I'm at the point of no return, so I was just eating stings, like, I probably have 10 stings up my pant legs right now, and I was just squishing my pants and going like that to just kill whatever was in there. Why did this happen? What did you even flip? Dude, I was, I was just rifling through rotting logs, like, <laughs> thinking that one might be under there. And then I saw the things flying around, but there's here's the thing. I'm usually I'm usually very in tune with that, but there were deer flies flying all around, like leading up to that. So I thought, you know, like oh, it was just deer flies. Oh, it's just deer flies. Oh. And <laughs> I even if you get that one puddle at like it's my birthday months. tomorrow. <laughs> I'm supposed to find a good snake on my birthday. Uh, we're definitely not safe yet, dude. Yeah. I like feel like I like have a false sense of security right now. I can't even describe to you the sheer horror on my face when we realized that we were in the car. Cause first I was like, oh, 
yellow jackets outside the car and I shut the door quickly and I was like, oh, we got him, we got away. And all of a sudden I just started getting lit up on the arms and legs <laughs> really and they're like, in my pants. It was like a minute of silence and we were like looking around and I was like, do we have an imposter among <laughs> they're us? In here, yeah, they're in here, they're in here. And they're one just and like, they just all start popping out. Yeah, we just started seeing a bunch in the car. I don't know what to do at this point. We got the car there and uh, we're trying to just kind of air it out right now. I don't know how many are in there. I don't think more than like three max at this point. I squished at least one that was inside my pants. I don't know how I didn't see them all just like all over me before getting in the car, but what a bad situation. I feel like usually when that happens, you can run. <laughs> yeah. All right, so uh, understandably that whole yellow jacket incident kind of shot activity for the rest of the day so uh sorry it shot productivity for the rest of the day and uh we're just cruising around right now <laughs> just kind of chilling um it's dark out roads are a little wet and uh we're just hoping to see whatever um and tomorrow we're gonna go at it hard but we're a little <laughs> a little rattled after that so uh <laughs> yeah we'll see uh what we can do now All right, yesterday was rough, but today is a new day. It is my birthday. I'm hoping for a cool snake. And uh, we're gonna get flipping some junk, so uh, we'll see what we can do. This little piece of wood, not 30 seconds after turning the camera off. Here is a little, little, itty bitty worm snake. Look at this guy, he's teeny. Holy smokes. Good sign that the fossorials are up. I'm sure that heavy rain last night um, when we were in the tent woke this guy up. All right, neat, I'm gonna let him go. Put his cover back and uh, keep looking. Next snake of the day is this tiny red-bellied snake. Wee little guy. Nice kind of orangey salmon -y belly on it. You can see it is a teeny, teeny little guy. We'll put him back under his piece of wood right here. Cool. Ooh, buddy. Hello. That's neat. All right, so big racer right here, big milk eater. It's probably gonna take off in seconds. It's good that we're seeing snakes undercover. That's my third snake in pretty rapid succession. That's one sight. And uh, let's see if he's got a milk friend under here as well. It might be under the thing that on. <laughs> it might be in him. I'm gonna just put this thing back. Imagine if he just missed it. What if he just ate a milk? Yeah. Dude, I think the weather feels good. I've flipped a worm snake, a red belly, and a racer already. Word. All right, next two snakes of the day. We got a worm snake, pretty sizable one we've already seen today. And then a ringneck snake. I saw a couple more ringneck snakes, but uh, we let them go. But here's a good look at this one, nice yellow belly. All right, you wanna let these go? Yeah. Oh, there you go, buddy. Sweet, we keep looking. Word. All right, ready. This not always look so good. All right, Teddy just flipped a batch of what? Some sort of snake eggs. I want to call these racer eggs, but interesting. Huh. These could be milk eggs, dude. 
Really? I wonder, yeah. Ted got a little skink. He's in shed. Really? Yeah, look. That's weird. Here, careful. Oh, yeah, look. The scales are coming right off. Don't want to hurt his tail. Oof. That's sick. So cool. All right, we're back at the scene of the crime from yesterday. And uh, here's the nest. See, it's just a little hole in the ground. I thought it was under one of the logs I was turning over. But they're just right in this little frickin' hole. Crazy. They look like they're getting kind of agitated, so... We're gonna keep driving, but we are in the safety of our car. Oh, I just saw one. Alright, I've got Teddy out flipping for me because... It's my birthday, and I don't want to get out near the Yellow Jackets and get stung again. So, alright, so uh, that didn't go as we expected. We kind of grinded all day for a lot of common snakes. I didn't even film half of them that we were finding. Um, just because it was a lot of ringnecks and stuff like that, which we've been seeing a lot of lately. Uh, but we're... Uh, we're bombing up north for uh, dinner, and uh, I'm gonna have to continue this video another day. So we'll see you guys then. All right, so it is a pretty steamy day out here. Uh, hurricane is hitting, and we're getting poured on um, intermittently. So uh, we're gonna go out and see if we can flip some local boards. It's been a couple days since that last segment, so uh, we're gonna see what we can do. snake of the night. Nice little garter snake. There's a second one that just got away out the back, but I'm gonna put this back down and uh, let him do his thing without bothering him. Grasshopper. Nice rocks here. Looks real good for a milk. So good. Can't believe it. Nothing. I just laid this one. Let's see how it does. Oh, garter underneath. Uh. All right, neat. Another new one. Oh, big milk. No way. End of garter. Bro, I mean, can't curse in the YouTube videos. Here, you hold on to that guy. Uh, it's, uh why do you? Uh, <laughs> what's that? Big milk. It's That's milk. sick. It's about to go All right, so new board got a milk. It's a really cool head on this one. It almost kind of looks like a coastal with the two stripes going up to the eye there, and then the collar. Um, Looks kind of like a kind of northern Pine Barrens coastal. We are farther south than I usually find them, but um, uh, definitely not in the Pine Barrens. But really neat looking milk. Um, you can see it's actually got a plain ventral, which is real weird. I only have seen this a couple of times. Uh, usually they have checkers all over the stomach, but this doesn't have any of that. And uh, pretty nice brown color, but nothing too crazy. But a good snake. Nice big milk. Pretty neat. These look like they're producing. Let's see what's under this one. Look at that pattern. Nothing under this one. All right, come on. We were on the money. Not seeing anything under this one. Yeah, you can let the garter go. Very, very rainy. Not seeing anything here. Nothing. Ah. Flipping my boards without me, huh? He's a little spazzy for me. Let's see. Garter. Dude, that smells god awful. <laughs> so bad. I can't smell. Oh, cool. Oh, no one more fishing 
So, uh, there's a, there's a tree there. I have to go around this puppy, eh? Dude, that makes such good content. That was so good. Oh, Sweet. My. Oh, man. Nothing this time. Big, big thing here. Oh, there's a garter. I looked right past it. But, uh, looks like nothing else. I'm gonna move them out so we don't hurt them. Let's see if we can get something here. Uh, just looks like this one little garter. Garter snakes are real common around here, so... I'm gonna leave this guy alone. Before he moves... Oh, he's moving. I think I'll have to move him out now so he just doesn't get smushed or anything. Put him in the grass here. Ooh, come back. There we go, and he can go back under there. Dang, dude, that looks so good. Wow, look at all those tunnels. See that? Pretty good. I've only gotten one milk under there though. Probably last spot I can hit before I run out of time. Flipped a good milk under that one once. Man, the ticks are bad today, the bugs are bad. This board had a little bee thing under it last time. Hopefully that's not the case this time. Does not appear to be. All right, come on. Nothing. All right. Too bad. That's probably the end of the video here. Uh, kind of ran out of local boards, um, but definitely gonna lay more. Super promising that that uh, board that I laid less than a month ago had that really cool milk under it with the plain belly and the garter next to it. The other board there had a garter. So it seems really productive. Definitely gonna go back to that area, that same spot and others, and lay a bunch more of co uh, cover. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, make a video of that in the future. Um, that's gonna be it for this one. So uh, thanks for watching if you made it this far. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.